All right. Hello, world. Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. And thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing. If you're not subscribed, subscribe so you don't miss a video when I, every time I upload a video, okay? And hit the bell icon. All right. Now, in today's video, I'm going to show you something that's controversial because uh, I created it with Joey Burton. Uh, he put it into a, uh, a magazine. It was the trap door, and this we're going back like 20, 25 years. Uh, Joey Burton's a good friend of mine from the Magic Club. Well, we we pretty much we hung out. We used to hang out till six in the morning doing magic. After the Magic Club would go from like uh, nine or ten at night until like two or three in the morning, then we'd all go get breakfast. Uh, myself, Joey, Kosi, uh, many other people, okay, from the Magic Club, Gary Dollar's Magic Club. And uh, this is one of our creations that came out of that. Okay, so I'll perform it for you. You have a card selected. We'll skip the card selecting part, right? And uh, I want to show you a couple of the different creations that I created. Okay, so the first one that I created, um, and this was uh, a lot of people were doing the triangle. I didn't create that, but uh, we came up with the Luxor. See, there's a Luxor light. You're looking through the triangle. That that was kind of cute. It was, you know, the Luxor light. That was the first one. Uh, then. That one uh, led into, we were saying, what if we could like find like the diamond? And then I think this is like the diamond cut. And I think uh, Chris Randall put that in print somewhere. We we're all playing around with the Magic Club. Chris Randall was in, the, I've known him since he was like 13 or 14. He was doing a dove act. Um, he's one of the world's greatest street magicians. You can go see him on Fremont Street. So that's, uh, I think the diamond, right? You can see I'm trying to find your card. I think it's a diamond. That's kind of cute. Then uh, this is something that we came up with, uh, which we call the hourglass. Okay, the hourglass cut. You can actually, if you do it right, it can look like an hourglass. Okay, very difficult not to drop the cards. But the one I wanted to show you that Joey came up with, and I was there when he created it, because um, we both suggested doing it. And what I was actually doing, I'll show you what I was doing with it. I'm going to show you both my way and his way. And uh, so I credit to Joey Burton. I'm not trying to say, oh, this is mine, but I had something different with it because we all had things with it, right? This is what Joey came up with. Uh, he, and he put it in print in the, uh, it's the, the Bermuda Triangle cut. And uh, he goes through and he produces the card. So the selected card will pop out like that through the triangle. Isn't that, isn't that cute? So that's Joey Burton. And I'm gonna teach that to you. So you start from Sybil and you bring the packets around. You go into the triangle, right? And then you can do the Luxor cut if you want, if you're in Las Vegas. If not, then hey, you could say, hey, my trip to Las Vegas, I saw the Luxor. Then you're going to, uh, the selected card is on top this whole time, obviously, right? When you're doing the cuts, you do some false cuts and whatever you want to do, right? False shuffles, blah, blah, blah. You go into your Sybils. And then uh, from the Sybils, what you do is you flow into this. You take one third of the packets, okay? So you have... Uh, one third or one fourth rather one fourth and one fourth and then you bring this down into the uh, You're into the Luxor cut. Okay you can Do the Luxor if you wish or you can just do the Bermuda you say look it's a Bermuda triangle you Look through it with your eye, right? And Then what you're going to do is you're going to with your first finger. I'm going to expose it from back here You're going to bring this up. This is Joey Burton's idea You're going to bring this card up and it's going to come around to the outside like that. So when you do it it's a really cool production, guys. So I like to thank Joey Burton for creating this. I was there at the Magic Club when he created it, and we were creating a lot of different things. And in a second, I'm going to show you what I came up with. So this was the idea. Joey, yeah. boom, the card appears, right? Now, I think Rodney Reyes put this in a video, and uh, he didn't give any credit to Joey, but uh, maybe he doesn't know who it is, right? Um, you can pull it through the triangle. Uh, I'll show you what I, my idea was that I came up with and we're going back like 20, 25 years. I mean, I create a lot of magic. I mean, I'm constantly creating magic. So this is my idea with it, which I don't think it was as good as Joey's. So I'd rather do Joey's, but I want to show you what I came up with because it has merit. I was trying to do a snap change through the uh, triangle, which is kind of difficult to do without dropping the cards, right? I just dropped some cards, but I'm not going to pick them up. Sorry, right? I'm just showing I'm not really a flourish guy, as you can tell, but I do like some flourishes. Um, I will set that down on the box is what I actually do. And then you do your flourishes. I used to be way more into flourishes than I am now, but I still think they have some merit if they're done right. 
Um, check out my book, Functional Flourishes, which is a combination of magic and things like this. Okay. So there's the uh, Joey Burton one. Boom, right? And look, it's good for an ace production too, by the way, right? And then you can pull it uh, through the triangle, okay? Using your hand like that. So you pop it through the triangle. So that's one idea. Oh, that's two ideas. Next idea is my idea, which I came up with over 25 years ago. And that was um, you start to do the Sybil. You go into the, the Luxor cut or whatever you want to do. Look at the eye through there. It's mysteriously through the triangle. Then uh, you can produce a card. Or what I was trying to do with it is if you can hold this with one hand, uh, and you can, so you can hold the triangle with one hand, you can pick up the card off the box. And uh, I was trying to do a snap change as you're looking through it, but this is the idea. When you look through it, it changes, see, as you look, and you do a, a wave change, and then you show that it's changed, and then when you remove it, it changed back. So then you'd say only when you look through here, it changes, right? So it's kind of a perspective thing. Isn't that neat? Then you remove it. And then it changes back. So the idea, it changes. You can do a change, right? Like you're looking at a perspective thing. And then you pull it out, and then it changes. Isn't that neat? So if you can get the idea of it, and they look through it, it's kind of hard to see. But that's the idea of it, is that uh, doing the change. So you can play with that. See if you can come up with something better. I challenge you to come up with something better. Uh, but that's some magic for you guys. I hope you like that. That's the Bermuda cut, uh, the Chris Randall diamond cut. Uh, my change and the best one, Joy Burton's Bermuda cut from the trap door. And uh, also we did the hourglass cut in there. So that's a lot of magic for you guys. So play around with that. Thank you. Please like, subscribe, and share. And click on the link and see Master Magic University today.